An interesting variation on the rectangular tree map is circle packing. That's where we're going to come over here to circle packing. I'm going to click on that. And then I'll come down and we'll use the cocktail data again. I may as well mention I don't drink and so I can't always tell what drink is what from the ingredients. But there it is. What I'm going to do here is first go into hierarchy. Again, that's where the things are nested. So we start with the cocktail. And then we put the ingredients also in hierarchy. And now you see that we have this. Now we have one big circle that has everything and then we have a little circle with each drink in it. Now the trick again here is that the sub circles the ingredients are all exactly the same size that doesn't work. And so we're going to come up here and do the parts into size and we'll do the cocktail again into color to help differentiate them. And now we can tell that the one that is mostly whiskey with a little bit of sugar and mint is a mint julep. I didn't know that. But it's a nice way of looking at how many things go into each one and the relative proportions. Now, on the other hand, I do find this one a little harder to read than the rectangular tree map because the tree map allows you to read linear dimensions a little better. The circles I see are more for a general impression or approximation. But circle packing can be a way of getting people's attention and getting them to focus a little more closely on what it is that you're trying to represent.